Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our 8th session for set theory. In the previous session, we discussed good number of examples based on uh, basic concepts of sets. In this session, we are going to take some more problems, more uh, concepts based on set theory and uh, just get ready with your paper and pen and start solving the problems with me. Okay, so let's begin. Let A and B two sets, then A union B is subset of A intersection B. It is not at all possible. A, uh, in any case, A union B set will be greater than equal to A intersection B. So it cannot be subset of this, right? But yes, this cannot be, this can be subset of this. Okay, so this is not true. A union B uh, can be equal to A intersection B only in the case when A is equal to B, right? And here A intersection B is subset of A union B. So that's correct, right? Because all the elements which are common between A and B will definitely be part of universal set, right? So A intersection B is subset of A union B. That's correct. If A and B are any two sets, then A union A intersection B. Okay, so what you can do is um, you can assume two sets suppose a is say 1 2 3 and b is we just take one element common 3 and 4 right now a intersection b is what it's 3 okay now a union a intersection b is 3 and this so that is actually 1 2 3 that is nothing but set A itself, right? So A union A intersection B. A intersection B, that means the elements which are common between A and B, right? So uh, the elements which are common between A and B, that means each and every element will be part of A also, right? So A union A precisely, that will be A, okay? Now this is an interesting uh, question. X such that X is multiple of 3, B such that uh, X... Um, B is equal to X such that X is a multiple of 5. A intersection B is given by. So first of all we make set A that is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, right? And set B that is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and so on. A intersection B. Now A intersection B will be the elements which are there in set A also and set B also, right? Now we can see in set A we have number 15, right? And in set A, uh, set B also we have number 15. Now this number 15 is common between these two sets, okay? And what is actually number 15? That is a common multiple of 3 and 5, LCM of 3 and 5 and that is actually 15, right? So all the multiples of 15, they will be common between A and B. Next time we'll be getting 30 also after some time and here we are having 30. Then we'll be getting uh, 45 also in this case after some time and here we'll be having 45, right? So all the multiples of 15 will be there in set A and all the multiples of 15 will be there in set B, right? So precisely all the multiples of 15 will be part of A intersection B, right? So what is your answer? A intersection B is what? 15 and its multiples. So that is 15, 30, 45 and so on, right? That is 15K. You can say multiple of 15, okay? A, B, C are the uh, three sets. So A intersection B union C will be what? Now distributive property we have already discussed in our basic session. It will be A intersection B union A intersection C, right? So A intersection B union A intersection C. A intersection B union A intersection C. As simple as that. Directly property we are using. This problem a intersection B, a union, A intersection B. So precisely it can be written as A intersection B union C, right? That is the identity or distributive property is there, A intersection B, union, A intersection C. So first of all, we find out B union C. So B union C is what? 3, 4, I write down all the elements of B, 3, 4, 5, 10, 12, 
and uh, apart from 3, 4, 5, 10, 12 we have uh, 4, 5 we have already taken 6 and 14 so that is B union C right 4, 5, 6, 12 and 14 so this is B union C and what is A that is 2, 3, 4, 8, 10 so intersection of these two we have common element as 3, 4 and then we have 10 nothing else so 3, 4, 10 will be your answer Okay. Apart from that, you can calculate A intersection C, then A intersection B, then you can take union of these two. Or you can use directly identity, that is the distributive property. Okay. Now, A and B are two given sets, then A intersection, A intersection B uh, complement is equal to. See, this sort of problems can be done using Venn diagrams also. I just uh, show it to you. How do you do? This is the universal set. Now I am having two circles that is A and B with me. So this is circle A and uh, this is circle B. Right? I write down that's A, that's B. Okay. Now A intersection B is this. That's A intersection. Now A intersection B complement is the entire region. I just change the color of the pen. Otherwise, uh, what you can do is you can uh, change the direction of the pencil or pen, whatever you are having. So that is actually A intersection B complement. Okay, the entire range. Okay, now what? Uh, we have to find out A and A intersection B complement. Now A intersection B complement is this entire region. Now we have to find out the area common between A and A intersection B complement. So A intersection B complement we have already drawn. Now we have to draw A. So I change the direction of the lines. Now you can see horizontal line and vertical line. That is the part of this particular area. And what is this? This is actually only A, only A. This is what? Only A. Okay. So this portion is actually, if you take this complete circle, it is complete A. And this portion is what? A intersection B. Right? So, how can we check now? Uh, we want this portion. A cannot be the correct choice. B cannot be the correct choice. This is the correct answer. Phi cannot be the correct choice. So we are left with A intersection B complement. This is the correct one. Now why A intersection B complement? See this complete circle is of B. Right? This complete circle is of B. So B complement is the area apart from this. Right? So B complement and A. Both of them are the common portion between A and B complement. Because A is this complete circle this complete circle is A and B complement is this region ok so common between the two is this region only so that is this ok so this is equal to this and apart from that what you can do is um, you can take examples also suppose I have A is equal to say 1 2 3 and I have B is equal to uh, 3 4 5 right so I just draw the Venn diagrams this is A this is B uh, 3 is common I write 3 over here then it is 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 right so what is the definition uh, what we have to find out A intersection A intersection B complement so A intersection B is 3 and complement of 3 will be 1 2 4 5 right complement of 3 will be 1 2 4 5 all the elements apart from uh, 3 right then we have to find out a intersection a intersection is what 1 and 2 so intersection of these two will be what 1 and 2 so that's actually this portion as I have shown you over here so this portion is that is only a that is 1 and 2 okay now among the options if we see a is incorrect b is incorrect c is incorrect and we see a intersection b complement so uh, 
A intersection B complement. B complement A is 1, 2, 3 and intersection B complement will be what? 1, 2 because 3 is already a part. So this is B complement. So compl uh, intersection of these two will be 1 and 2. So that's this. Okay. So your answer will be A intersection B complement. So either you use Venn diagram or you uh, take example what in whatever method, uh, whatever method you wish you can choose. Go ahead with the same. Okay. Now this uh, we have a challenging problem. To be able to solve this problem, you must be having the basic knowledge of uh, intervals also. Okay. So here, closed interval, open interval, I mean to say, modulus of x is less than 1, set A. Right. So modulus of x is less than 1. So x should be between minus 1 to 1. Right. So x belongs to minus 1 to 1. Okay. So that is set A set A. So set A is equal to elements from uh, minus 1 onwards. Minus 1 and 1 both of them are not included. Okay, so x belongs to minus 1 to 1. And here in this case modulus of x minus 1 is greater than equal to 1. That means x minus 1 uh, should be greater than 1 and x minus 1 should be less than minus 1. Right? So that's minus 1, that's 1. So if x minus 1 has to be greater than 1, greater than 1, and x minus 1 has to be less than minus 1, then only x minus 1 modulus will be uh, less than, I'm sorry, greater than equal to 1, right? So in that case, x is greater than 2 and x is less than 0, right? So x belongs to or we can say 2 to infinity and union minus infinity to 0, right? So B is this and A is this, okay? Now we have to find out A union B. So A union B is the common, all the portion of A and B, right? Now how do we find out A union B? Just listen to me carefully. I draw a line right here it is minus 1 and it is 1 and here it is 2 here it's infinity here it is uh, 0 here minus infinity right so a is minus 1 to 1 so that is a and uh, b is 2 to infinity and minus infinity to 0 right so we have to find out a union b that means it is entire line except 1 to 2 right because 1 to 2 is not um, there in uh, set a and not there in set b right from this portion to 0 and from 0 to 1 uh, this a is there from 1 to 2 nothing is there you can see a blank space over here from 2 to infinity b is there so a union b is equal to entire number line minus 1 and 2, 1, 2, 2, right? Entire number line minus 1, 2, 2. Now, A union B is actually R minus T. And what we have done? A union B is R minus 1, 2. So, 1, 2, 2 is what? It is D. That means D should belong to 1, 2, 2. That means uh, any element X that is greater than 1 and less than 2. That is the definition of D. Okay, so here and here in this case we have to be careful about one thing. It is actually greater than equal to 1. So it is greater than equal to 2 and it is less than equal to minus 1. So less than equal to 0. So here it is 2 to infinity and this is this. Okay, so To make it more clear, I, what I do is, I just redo it. Uh, A is minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1, but 1 is not at all included. So I just put a circle over here to show that 1 is not at all included. X is 2 to infinity, so 2 is included, infinity not included, and 0 is included. 
so zero is included right so a union b will be entire number line minus 1 to 2 right here 1 itself is not included but 2 is included right so r minus uh, suppose I tell this range as D right so D is actually what 1 is included because 1 is not included over here so in D 1 will be included and 2 will not be included because 2 is included over here right so in D I just read D over here D is 1 included but 2 not included right so R minus D a union B so it is D is actually 1 2 2 where 1 is included 2 is not included that means if any elements X is there in D so X will be greater than equal to 1 but less than 2 right so A union B is R minus D A union B is R minus D where D is 1 2 2 1 included 2 not included so that is this okay a very interesting and important example If A is equal to X such that X is equal to 3 raised to N, N is less than equal to 6 and X is equal to 9 raised to N, N is less than equal to 4, then which of the following is false? So I just make the sets A is equal to N is less than equal to 6. So it is 3, 3 raised to 1, 3 raised to 2, 3 raised to 3, 3 raised to 4, 3 raised to 5 and 3 raised to 6. And uh, B is equal to uh, 9 raised to n so 9 raised to 1 9 raised to 2 9 raised to 3 9 raised to 4 okay so what I can do is I can rewrite B in terms of 3 right so it is 3 raised to 2 3 raised to 4 3 raised to 6 and 3 raised to 8 okay this is rewritten like this now we have to see which of the following is false now uh, since the numbers are given in the full uh, that uh, this uh, exponent is opened up so it is actually I'm sorry this is 3 raised to so 3 raised to 1 this this okay this not there so that is 3 9 27 81 243 and 729 okay and this is 9 81 3 raised to 6 means uh, 7 29 and this is 729 into 9 right so we have to find out a union b so a union b will be 3 9 27 81 243 729 and 9 81 is already there 729 is there 729 into 9 is 6561 is there so a union b is this that is correct okay a intersection b what are the common elements common elements are even power of 3 right so 3 is uh, 3 square 3 raised to 4 3 raised to 6 and uh, 3 raised to 8 cannot be common because uh, at max 3 raised to 6 is there right uh, in set a maximum uh, value is 3 raised to 6 that is 729 right so 6561 is not common between a and b so this statement is false okay so this statement is false that's why this is the correct answer because we have uh, have to answer which of the following is false okay so friends uh, more problems will be doing in our next session do revise this session and the previous ones bye bye